everyone, so I know I haven't made a video in a while and everything that you've been seeing for like the past two weeks or so has been pre-recorded but I've got a new camera that I'm filming with now, hopefully the quality is a million times better still playing around with it, still playing around with the lighting and all that kind of thing so apologies if it's not perfect yet but I'm working on it but I have got a little haul today and it's pretty much exclusively duty free stuff I went away recently and I never used to be one for kind of massive duty free shopping but I soon realised that the duty free in Edgewell which is where I was is actually a really really good duty free and they stock loads of brands that I'd be really interested in so kind of they've recently started stocking Tom Ford, Burberry that type of thing but they've also started stocking Bath and Body Works and to me that was very very exciting so I picked up a few stuff from there I always buy Essie nail polishes there as well because they're cheaper and I picked up from stuff from Mac, as, from Mac as well because duty free you can buy stuff in dollars and I just find kind of with the exchange rate and everything it, you end up getting better value for your money so I'm going to talk you through the Mac stuff I got first I've got a great big bag full of stuff here lots of it I haven't used so I've been waiting to do this haul for you so I'm going to start with the two lip products that I got and um, apologies for the bag is rustling I'm trying to kind of keep it still let's do it this way so the first thing that I got I'm so excited about because I have been after this forever and I know a lot of people hate the whole Kylie Jenner thing whatever I really want to try this lip liner because I really like the lip shade she tends to wear, not necessarily because I like her so much, but I just find the colours very pretty and I think they're very flattering on my particular skin tone as well. And I had seen, I think it might have been in a Pixie Boo video where they mentioned that she wore Saw lip liner and since then I have been on the hunt for that lip liner everywhere and I haven't been able to get hold of it because a lot of um, places had just been sold out. It's kind of been one of those products that I think since you mentioned it, it just sold out everywhere. And every time I'd go to a Mac counter, they'd all be like, no, the Kylie Jenner effect, we don't have it, whatever. But I managed to find it. And I love this colour. I have worn this already, I must confess. I couldn't wait to wear this. But it's just a kind of mid nude kind of tawny pink colour. It's a little bit darker than what I thought it was going to be and I wear it on its own. I think they now do a matching lipstick, I'm not sure, but I just bought the lip liner and I wear it on its own and it's lovely. I love MAC lip liners in general. But if I swatch it here for you, you can see it's just a very, very pretty kind of nude deep nude with a kind of pinky browny undertone, really really flattering if you've got similar skin tone to me. It's not kind of grey in any way which I find sometimes with those types of nudes can be a bit annoying. And then the other lipstick, I had a few MAC lipsticks that were on my list that I wanted to buy and Kinda Sexy was one of them. But when I saw it in person it looked really similar to the lipstick that I'm wearing now which is um, Nude Delight by Rimmel, I think. It's a discontinued colour. Sorry, I keep looking into the viewfinder. It's, I'm not used to doing this, so try and focus on looking into the lens, but I know it will probably, it'll probably annoy you, but I'm trying. Um, very similar to that, and I thought, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not in love with it, and I have been after a just normal mid-tone pink from MAC. Mid-tone pinks are the types of colours I wear all the time that I find really flattering, and that just kind of go with everything, and the types of colours that I just find I can throw in my bag and not kind of worry about and I picked up this one which was in Fanfare and this is one I've heard people talk about before but I find a lot of time with MAC lipsticks the tones of the pink ones are not quite my thing they can be a little bit too nude a little bit too kind of salmony pink I struggle finding a shade that really suits me but this looked like a perfect kind of nice mid-tone pink just a really pretty easy to wear type of colour. I haven't worn it yet, you can see it still looks all new and lovely, but I can't wait to wear this. I love the smell of MAC lipsticks, I just love MAC lipsticks, the little bullets just so pleasing. So that was the lip product that I bought. Then I bought a MAC paint pot because I have been having a really, really hard time recently with my eyeshadow creasing. I don't know what it is and I think on this side I've discovered a new little line that's just appeared and it's like this horrible little crease when I close my eyes. I don't know what it's about but I hate it and it makes my eyes look really droopy and makes everything crease. I don't know like why this has suddenly appeared. Like, is it an age thing? I hope not but um, yeah. So I picked up the Bare Canvas Paint Pot. Now, 
I had really high expectations for this and I have used it a couple of times and it's not as dry as I thought it would be, it's not as kind of gripping as I thought it was going to be. And I really struggle with cream eyeshadows, pretty much apart from like maybe the odd one, I can't get them to come stone my eyes without creasing, but the MAC Paint Pots look like this, really really cute little packaging. I've got it in focus for you, there we go. Cute packaging, um, kind of like little paint, and you squeeze it a small amount out, you really do only need a small amount. But I think the formula of this has changed from when I used to use it. It almost feels a little bit more moussey like now, whereas before it kind of had a bit of a drier texture, which I preferred. I haven't made my mind up completely about this, and I'll continue to kind of play around with it, but I'm not sure. And then, last but not least, I picked up the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I'll show you what this looks like. I've got it in the shade NC30. The shade situation <laughs> was just comical. I was matched, I was trying to match myself and at the time I had a little bit more of a tan and I thought that NC30, NW35 was good. Then the girl at MAC said that that would be too dark for me. She said NC30, I tried a little bit on, probably thought yeah we're coming into winter, I'll go for that, that was fine bought it, didn't pay attention to what the box was, got home and realised she'd given me um, Studio Sculpt instead. So I had to go and take it back and change it and everything. But the colour's nice, um, it's a tiny bit light for me at the moment I think, but that's because I've been away so I have got a little bit of colour. So that's what the packaging looks like. I haven't made my mind up about this um, yet. I'm not kind of sure about the whole waterproof concept because in my head I thought, oh, it'll be really long lasting. But then the fact that it's waterproof just means that it's waterproof. It's not oil proof and oil tends to be what breaks down the makeup. So that's kind of my fault for maybe not thinking it through properly, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. I'm gonna just pop these down here. I dropped them on the floor um, and go into the rest of the bag and talk to you about what I've got. So I do, I'll do the Essie nail polish first, shall I? So the first, let me just grab all of them before I delve into here. I never learn, do I? I'm always vomiting around in bags in videos. Where are you? Okay, here. I've got them all now. No, I haven't. I've only got three and there were four. There's the fourth one. The fourth one is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. There we go. Okay, let's start with the one I'm wearing on my nails right now then. So they had to kind of um, buy three, get one free off, which they always do, and they're around $9, which I know is not that kind of dissimilar to what they are in pounds, but we never have offers on them, and I don't know, I never buy them in boots. I'm like, eight pounds, no way, but nine dollars I'm like yeah that's fine I picked this one up because I've seen Lily Pebbles and um, Viviana does makeup talk about this all the time and it's the shade Maximilian Strauss her stress her I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to pronounce it but that's why I'm wearing it on my nails right now and I love it it's kind of like a grey dock egg type of colour kind of it's really flattering actually and then I bought this one, which I've had my eye on for ages, and I always kind of talk myself out of it, thinking it was too similar to, what's the, candy, candy apple? Mint candy apple. I thought it was too similar to that. This is Turks and Caicos, and I decided that it wasn't too similar, and that in fact it was kind of slightly more vibrant. So I'm looking forward to wearing that in the summertime. It's not really a autumn winter type of polish. I then wanted a good black nail polish and I really struggle finding black nail polishes that kind of apply nicely. Essie is my favourite nail polish brand so I thought maybe they would be um, a good choice. And this one is Licorice which I think is a very cute name for a black nail polish. And then I also got this one which is called Sexy Divide and it's kind of like a dual toned purple. It's kind of got a little bit of a kind of shimmer running through it, a little bit of a blue kind of multi-dimensional shade, really pretty. I think I'm going to do the black one next though. And now I'm going to jump right into all the Bath & Body Works products I've got in here and they're quite a lot of them. I think the lady at the stand was a little bit kind of taken aback by me when I turned up, but let's start with candles. They were on buy three, get one free as well, so I picked them up. They didn't have a very big selection, which was a little bit disappointing, um, but I picked from what there was. <laughs> this is Sea Island Cotton, which looks like this. And this is a very kind of fresh, kind of clean washing type of smell. This isn't my particular scent of choice, but my boyfriend really likes these, and I had to kind of get three, so I just picked that one. It's a nice bathroom scent, it's just not my favourite type of scent. 
Then I also picked this one, which was um, Dark Iris. Is it Dark Iris? Dark Kiss, sorry. The writing was kind of a bit weird. Which looks like that. This is a little bit sweeter. Floral Sweet. It actually smells, this is really strange, but it's the candle equivalent of the Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy perfume. That's exactly what it smells like. It's really, really nice. I really like that. Um, really lovely kind of autumn scent. Then this is a good autumn one as well. And this is Warm Vanilla Sugar. And I've seen people talking about this a lot. And it is just kind of what you'd expect. It's a warm, sugary vanilla scent, but not... It doesn't smell synthetic, and it's not too sweet either. It's kind of just a warm vanilla scent rather than a sweet vanilla scent, which I prefer. I don't like the really overly sweet vanilla scents. And then the last one that I got, which is probably my favourite, is Midnight Pomegranate. And I love this one. It's very sweet and deep and just kind of a very, it's a very sexy um, candle actually. Just really kind of, um, it's unusual. It's just very, very kind of deep. Love that one. That's probably the one I'll burn first. But that's all the candles that I picked. I then also picked a hand wash because everything from Bath & Body Works is also three for two. So I kind of got a bit carried away. And I picked the Japanese Cherry Blossom. Which is one that I've used the body version of this before. And I really liked it. And um, yeah, you know, hand wash. Why not? Then I picked up a body spritz because I love these kind of after the shower. I think they make you feel really nice. I usually buy the Victoria's Secret ones, but I have come to realise that they're a little bit of a false economy because the scent doesn't last very long. But there are scents that Victoria's Secret do that I love, like I love Love Spell. But I bought the Midnight Pomegranate um, spray as well just because I thought that would kind of be nice for the winter months. It smells just like the candle. It's kind of very deep, sexy scent. If I could open it, I would smell it for you. Yeah, it's a little bit sweeter than the candle, not as deep, but really nice kind of after the shower and everything. I just kind of spritz myself with it and it feels nice. It's, you know, like an unnecessary step, but whatever. And then I just bought like four hand sanitizers because we all know Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers are very nice. So let me just grab them all from the bottom of this bag. One, two, three. And fourth one, where are you? Four, okay. And now I'm gonna put this bag down and the rustling will stop. At least it wasn't one of those really plasticky bags because they rustle more. But yeah, I picked three. This one I picked, I will be honest, just because it has glitter in it and I thought it looked really cute, but it was Mad About You. The packaging of this is really pretty, I think. Um, and it's got little chunks of glitter in it. They don't describe what the scent is, but it's just a very kind of sweet scent, um, quite girly. I do think the packaging of these are a little bit annoying though. I don't think they're the kind of most secure and things can come out of them. Then I also pick, picked Raspberry Pink Peony, which is a really lovely kind of sweet raspberry scent. Um, and then we have Sweet Tangerines, which you guessed it, smells like tangerines. <laughs> And last but not least, I've picked Pure Paradise. I don't actually know what this one smells like. So let me put a bit on my hands and we'll find out. I might smell it straight away because you always get that horrible, slightly sanitizing smell first. This smells very fresh and it's a little bit sweet. It's kind of like a, it's got a fresh kind of blue cocktail smell. You know what blue cocktail smell like? <laughs> that type of scent, but that's what the packaging of this looks like. It's really pretty as well. But that's everything I picked up from Duty Free. I spent quite a lot of money, so yeah, I keep telling myself I'm not going to buy any more candles for ages now. I got a few for my birthday and I got all of those and I'm like, I'm sorted for a while. But then I started thinking, but I haven't got any Christmas candles a little bit of a problem but I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about the video quality and everything and if you've got any tips um just in case you're wondering I've got the Canon EOS 70D and I am totally clueless about it at the moment I'm really kind of trying to I watch videos and I'm like I don't know what they're saying but um I'm working on it and hopefully I will get a little bit better at it but I really wanted to have better quality videos for you all and I have missed you all and hopefully um kind of we will be back to regular video scheduling next week. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye!